Hi and welcome to this video on the Place Manager. We'll use the use case of the B Store, which is our showcase for GUITP. In this video and the next ones, we'll use it uh, on a concrete project, this one, so it will be more concrete how to use it. So in this video, we'll see how, in particular, the Place Manager is used. So if we go to the code, the first place where it's used in it's in price view, where we build a place request which represents the URL of a place. So we build it with our builder, and then uh, we pass it the current place request. In um, so this place manager object. Is, which is part of GUITP, is injected uh, in the constructor. So, next thing that we do is uh, then to retrieve the name token of the product page, and then we can put some ID and parameter in the UL, so a query parameter. So, in this case, it's ID. And then we can build because it's a builder, so we probably build it our object. And then after that, we can uh, set the href of the page with GUITP. Another place which is used, place manager object, it's in the build path of the application view, uh, where we take care of building the path and making sure that uh, we have the right translation. So uh, in that case, that's what we do, and we use the place manager that get current place request to retrieve it, and then we use the build history to token, uh, which is in HTML5, and allows us to uh, build a token properly with our request, and then also to build finally the path that we want. The third example that we'll see is in the Bootstrap e IMPL which is executed at the beginning of the loading of the application, in particular the reveal place function of the place manager, which take the place request object and then show the said page. So in that case, uh, the, the page that is relevant. So if there's none specified, it's the own. And other than that, it's the specified token. So uh, it, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video on the Place Manager. See you later. Bye.